What is up, y'all? It is Guy Jean. I'm back again. I am sorry that it's been a while since I've done a vlog. I have some other things to do. Digital work, the boring stuff. Yes, I said the boring stuff to me. Digital work is all boring. And I like more of the hands-on artwork that I can actually paint and sculpt and do the fun stuff. Yes, sir. Um, today, I am actually working on some zipper pull sculptures. Those that know me know what the zipper pulls are all about. Those that don't, you're about to find out right now. So at the moment, I am now covering up some of the um, white spots that didn't get covered with the spray paint of the zipper pull. And uh, I guess I'll show you guys. Here's all the zipper pulls. As you can see, the zipper pulls are uh, matte black for the moment. But you know me, I always throw a resin coating on all of my, well, majority of my pieces, not all of them. Some of them I will keep matte, but for these, I always do the resin. I love the shiny look. Um, right now, I'm just cleaning up some of the imperfections. Like on the inside of the donuts, you can't really see that well, but deep on the inside of the middle of the donut, they are white, or have like little white speckles because the spray paint didn't get in there. Usually, I will use acrylic paint, it's this little piece of acrylic right here. I'll use acrylic paint and I'll just paint the pieces up and it is usually about three layers of black to get them solid. I thought because I had all these pieces that I should spray paint them and it'll be easier, but truthfully it just made kind of a more of a mess and made more imperfections. So now I'm over here trying to clean it up with my acrylic. So now that you guys see where I'm at with these zipper pulls, I have a little surprise for you. It is a how it's made video. I forgot that I had the video, but I decided just now that I'm going to put that video into this video. So you guys can now see how the zipper pulls are made from beginning to end. Um, you guys get to check out my process and I guess I'll do a little voiceover in the video just like I did for the donuts figure, um, how it's made. If you haven't seen that, make sure to go through my videos and check that out. Um, it may actually make you understand the process better. Um, so yeah, let's get that started right now. Welcome to another edition of How It's Made with commentary by me, Guy Jean. First, we start off with a Sculpey piece, sculpted by me, of course. Next, I'm gonna use these rubber molds that I've already had uh, pre-made. Wish I had a video of that. I'm gonna use this liquid plastic Smooth on 325. I'm going to take one part of uh, 325A and then one part of B and mix them together. Only takes about a minute to mix, maybe 30 seconds. Once it's all mixed up, pour it into the molds and then I have my figure that is ready to be popped out. Sweet. I then take my figures upstairs and uh, get my pieces together. Do a quick little shaving of the back and sanding just to make sure that the pieces are smooth for better presentation. Presentation is everything, always remember that guys. For the eyelet screws, I just take a little plier and screw it in there tight. Nothing special. For my next trick, I'll take some all black acrylic paint and uh, paint up the figure about three times. Yeah, three layers. And of course I can't forget my Forever Hungry signature on the back. Next I'll take some liquid resin, do the two parts, mix it together, make sure that there's no bubbles, then pour it over the figure very nicely. You wanna make sure that it covers well. Then I use a heat gun to get all the bubbles off. That is the best way to get bubbles. As you can see, they're nice and clean and shiny with no bubbles. Yes, I use a Nike box to make my figures cure. Do whatever you can to make anything happen. Ta-da! They're all finished. Wait, 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 not yet. Next, I'm adding some ringlets to the hoop along with the lobster clip. And then they're finished. Ta-da! Now, add them to your backpack, to your hooded sweaters with zippers or your shoes, like I do. Stay hungry, guys. All right, so now you guys have an understanding of what I do and how these little guys get made. 
These pieces specifically uh, have homes and I'm sorry they probably won't be up on the store. If they are on the store and you see me post them, that means that they're probably like two or three. Um, so you better cop them quick. Do not hesitate when you see these zipper pulls up on the store because they will be gone. And I don't know the next time I'll be making them. Um, if I do make them, it'll probably be for an art show. They probably won't be for just no reason at all. Uh, these things are not very easy to make. They take a long time and uh, I just don't have that much time to be making these guys. Uh, also, make sure to check out Youngboy's new t-shirt. Yes, sir. That is on the store also. So that is, uh, that is pretty much it for today. I didn't have a whole lot to show you personally right now, but I did have that How It's Made video, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please, please let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know uh, if there's anything I can teach you. Uh, I really don't like doing tutorials, but if there's something I can show you the process of, I will do my best to do it. Um, make sure you guys follow me on my social media handles, at Arts all around everything, all my social medias, except for YouTube, which is Gaijin the Artist. And also make sure to check out my website, GaijinArts.com, for all the goodies that I create. Um, the shirt and maybe these zipper pulls. We shall see. Other than that, it has been a pleasure talking to you guys again. Thank you all that are still here watching me. It is very hard to get people to actually click the YouTube links when I post on these social media accounts. So thank you if you are here. I appreciate you and I will see you guys next time. Peace.